when we defense attorneys talk about the prosecutor filing an information in your criminal case, we're talking about the charging document here. It's very important. In other places, they call this an indictment, but in Florida, we don't call it an indictment. We call it an information. Now, I know that comparison between indictment information isn't perfectly accurate because indictments are usually voted on by a grand jury. And an information is just a piece of paper signed by the prosecutor saying, we're filing these charges, let's get going. And I want you to understand, you gotta go back to see how a criminal case works because all of them start with the police officer making an arrest. And we all know that just because you've been arrested for something, that doesn't mean you're guilty of it. What happens after your arrest is the prosecutor is gonna look at what evidence the police have gathered, plus what evidence we defense attorneys have submitted. We're very important, right? and they're gonna make a decision whether or not to file formal charges. If the prosecutor decides to drop your charges against you before filing anything, this is what we call a no information. You want a no information, that means your case is dropped. But if the prosecutor decides to file criminal charges against you, we call that the filing of an information. And once that filing document, the information, is put with the clerk of court, the clerk of court will set your case for an arraignment, that's a court date, just really having the judge tell you what you've been formally charged with. Again, the arrest report from the cops, that isn't the charging document. The information filed by the prosecutor, that's your charging document. They have time limits, the prosecutors. They've got to file an information within 90 days of an arrest on a misdemeanor. They have to file an information with 100, within 175 days on a felony arrest. So for your sake, I hope the state files a no information. That means drop your case. But if you're accused of something in Central Florida and you got an information filed against you or it's pending, we do Central Florida. I hope you'll give our office a call. Let's see if we can help you out. Thanks for watching and take care.